Thank the eight. You're back. What did you discover? Is my mother's soul at rest? What a relief. On both counts. Did you discover the cause of her distress? What troubled her? And that spell became a curse. The curse that's afflicted the Academy these 20 years. Of course. But I don't understand. Why would Mother leave this man in his hour of need? The woman I knew would never abandon a friend. My father? But how? I'll need some time to process all this. I can't believe she bore the weight of this all these years. In any event, thank you for helping her. I hope the two of them find a way to reconcile in Aetherius. Her and my father. I should really get some sleep, but with all that's happened, I don't know how I could manage it. Secrets from my mother's past, a father I never knew. It's a lot to take in. In any event, thank you so much for all your efforts. Eight bless you. Honoria. Who is this? This is your daughter, Jano. Katina. This is why I left. The ritual posed too high a risk for an unborn child. I tried to tell you so many times, but you were so busy and I was a coward. Katina, I had no idea. She has your eyes, Honoria. And your stubbornness, my love. Which is why I knew she would find a way to help us. I should have told you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you for showing her to me. I... I only wish I had more time. Did you hear that someone actually escaped from the Lightless Oubliette? Fortune favor you, my friend. An excellent selection. Make a selection to reveal your rewards. Ah. Choose a reward. This could be helpful. Are you ready to reveal your rewards? Purchase a crate from the store to continue, my friend. Until next time. Greetings, my good friend. Listen to Bakruti. Rewards wait within the crates. You have no crates right now, but you can purchase one if you'd like to begin. Akruti is still... Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. 
above the ruins. Oh, battle and skill. <laughs> that lot has fallen. We need to get into that keep. going to do now without reinforcements we have no way to take the keep as long as the dragon guards still stand there is always a way damn that dragon's pride if nephilah had only broken off and regrouped with us it seems we have no choice but to rescue the beast are you with me general renmes will lead a secondary team to keep the cultist occupied that should give us time to search for Nephilim. By Leckie's blade, I just hope he's still alive. It would be hard-pressed to take this keep without him. The cult is gathering around Latvalon, most likely to empower him using their Aeon Stones. Yet another advantage they have over our forces. This is it, my friend. Our chance to prove ourselves. To prove that the Dragon Guard still protects the people of this world. You scout ahead and find a way forward. I'll join you in a moment. Have no fear. Zaji, the Dragon Slayer, has arrived. We are never going to hear the end of this. Stay sharp. We don't know what might lurk in these caverns. That looks like Nathalar, down below. Let's see if we can find a way to get to him. Hold a moment. There's some kind of message written on that tablet. In a rather roundabout way, it seems like this tablet is telling us how to move forward. Seems there's more to Doomstone Keep than first meets the eye. The inscription says to create light with a divine mask, which I can only assume refers to the mask of Alkosh. Did the pride of Alkosh occupy this keep? Yes, the Black Beast. One of the Dragon Guard's greatest foes, a dragon of mighty power, which would indicate that this inscription was written by the Dragon Guard. But what were they doing here? The Dragon Guard and the Pride of Alkosh? We're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to find Nephilar, first and foremost. According to this inscription, the mask can somehow be used to light fires. We should search for unlit torches or braziers. Let's see if the mask responds to that brazier. That must be the Black Beast facing off against the Dragon Guard. It looks like a Kashiti warrior is leading them. Perhaps she was a member of the Pride of Alkosh.
warrior from before. She claimed the Mask of Alkosh, just as you did. Wait, could she possibly be Jadari? Dari is offering him the Mask of Alkosh, but he's refusing her. It seems to symbolize something, though I'm not sure what. Understand now. The Black Beast is Lutvalon. The Dragonguard sealed him away, though it cost Jadari her life. And Nathalar is nowhere to be seen. Jadari joined the Dragonguard to take down a fearsome dragon. The Pride of Alkosh called him the Demon from the East, while the Dragonguard named him the Black Beast. But his true name is Lutvalon. Precisely. She must have needed the Mask's power to defeat Latvalon. Jadari and the Dragon Guard had another ally as well, Nathalar. He gave them his own horn to use against Latvalon, but he also refused Jadari something. And then the final battle. Jadari fell, but the Dragon Guard was still able to trap Latvalon. For centuries he was sealed away beneath this very keep. Until he escaped, that is. Which leads us to today's battle. Jadari. Ah, no. It is you, Hunter. Deshu. Ah, time blurs. It is the same as before. I can feel Latvulan's icy malice permeating this chamber. So this was his prison, was it? Ah, and now he has assured that it will be my grave. Yes. 
Alice. I gave her my horn, but it was not enough. And so she asked me to empower the Mask of Alkash, so that we could slay Lodvulan and end his terror. Ah, I refused. Lodvulan was sealed away, but not before Jadari fell in battle. It takes two wills to awaken the Mask. One is a champion of the pride of Alkosh, a warrior who has proven themselves worthy of the Mask's power. The other must be one of my kind, a dragon. Fenjuntid, the will of my father, the Dragon King of Time. All Dove seek dominion, and so it is a king's command that is our bane. I will not turn away from you as I did Jadari. I will not repeat the past. I will join with you and empower the Mask. You are a worthy ally, and a champion of my father's will. Only together can we hope to defeat Lotvulan. Raise the mask before me. It is time. Zordrun Kalos. Myth made manifest. A trick of the mask and nothing more. Come, let us see what lies beyond the dunes. Apologies never did suit you, Nafalar. You are here now. That is all that matters. A new champion walks in Jadari's stead. We can still make things right. Poor Rakajin. It was his destiny to walk these sands, you know? To join with the pride of Alkosh. But greed drenched his heart like a freezing rain, sapping all its warmth. And so, it fell on your shoulders to walk this path instead. Dragons, yes. And something far worse as well. Latvulan, the demon from the east. It was not enough to seal it away. You must succeed where Jadari failed. You must banish the demon unto eternity, as Alkash wills. Latvulan is the torment of chaos, a shadow wearing a scaly hide. It seeks to drench this world in anguish, as is its very nature. It will pave the way for another, a new moon filled with darkness. Then the tapestry of time shall unravel. Alkash watches we mortals with a weary eye. He will lend his power to one worthy, yes. But only if we are granted the aid of his blood. Only a dragon's power can awaken the mask. You seem willing. Can you say the same of Nafalar? Of course, mask bearer. Jadari is sure you have many questions. Just don't expect too many answers, yes? It is not a place, but a story that has been and will be told time and time again. We are within the tapestry, and without it. Wrapped up tightly in its threads, even as we desperately try to untangle them. 
Alkosh is he who weaves the tapestry, and also he who is the threads. They unspool from the tip of his tail. When the thread ends, there will be nothing. We are all woven into his tapestry, Walker. We are always within the realm of time. Perhaps that is why Alkosh entrusted the Khajiit with his secrets, no? You compare the sands of the hourglass to the moments which pass through time. Can they truly be the same? But then, are they truly so different? It is one answer only the Dragon King knows. Perhaps not in a way so easily understood. Just know that the Dragon King guides you now, just as he guided you then. But it is you who must walk the path he lays before you. Never forget that. Jadari was born under eclipsed moons, yet was destined to never become main. And as she listened to the moons, they sang to her a song as sweet as candied moon sugar, until the day their song became the steady beat of drums. The darkness of Lorcaj had stained her soul, the bruising purple of spilled wine. Soon, all she could hear was beautiful, terrible whispers. And so this one decided to make her way to the sands behind the stars, before she was forever lost. But Kenarthi carried Jadari not above to the stars, but into the darkness that had settled in this one's heart. Jadari was given two gifts, a lantern to guide, and a sword to protect, and both shined with Alkosh's divine light. You walked the halls of the High Main, have you not? You proved yourself worthy, and were gifted the mask of Alkosh. Those trials, those halls, they reflect Jadari's battle, deep in her heart. A battle that she won. Jadari was gifted the mask of Alkosh, and told to protect his most sacred tapestry. To slay a demon who would undo all of time. But now that duty lies upon your shoulders. Bear it wisely. Go before him, Dragon Guard. It should only take a few words. Do you remember Nafalar? Words to mend the tapestry? Dragon King above. Orma Hansu. This mortal is worthy. Wavogri Krenti. They shall mend. Strength is now won, Akatus. Let us finish this. Reach the surface this way. Let's move out. Time has... 
has come, Akatus. Cleave through your enemies with the might of Alkosh. Lavulas. This is the power of the mask of Alkosh. Come, we'll stop the cult from calling in reinforcements for Lotvalon. Onward! We have a dragon to slay! We must aid Nephilar! Dragon Guard, to me!
you can win. I am a star. You cannot win. shall ensure that nothing remains. We fought hard for this victory, Dragon Guard. To save the people of elsewhere, of all Tamriel, from Lotvalon's tyranny. But our battle does not end here. Like those who came before, we'll fight the dragons that plague this land until the day that plague ends. And for all those who lost their lives today, I say this prayer. May your flames burn eternal. <laughs> 